So to, to tonight, we'll be wrapping up the series. So we talked about the Zebulon and, 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 and Mountain using the anchor scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 33, 18 and 19. We looked at the multifaceted dimension of the Zebulon and Mountain. We said the Zebulon and Mountain is the, the uh, carries, carries revelations. Zebulon anointing as the compelling power of the Holy Ghost. So the Zebulon anointing is the anointing to do warfare. Explicitly, we looked at the spiritual dimension of the, of the anointing, of, of, of the Zebulon anointing. So to, to, to today, we're looking at the part, part, part B, the blessings of Zebulon. We are proud that each and every one of us will be baptized with this anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Join me in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, from verse 18 and 19. That is our anchor scripture for, to, for tonight. I will appreciate it if someone can help me to be posting the scriptures. Deuteronomy, chapter 33, from verse 18 and 19. And it says, and of Zebulon, he said, rejoice, Zebulon, in thy going out, and Issachar, in thy tents. They shall call the people unto the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. He says, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of treasures in the sand. The Zebel anointing is also the wealth transfer anointing. It is the anointing for supernatural wealth. It is the anointing for kingdom prosperity. The Zebulon anointing. It says, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of treasures Heat in the sun. Praise the living Jesus. Second scripture, Genesis chapter 49. Genesis 49, 13 to 15. And it says, Zebulon shall dwell at the heaven of the seas. And he shall be for an evil of peace, and his border shall be for Sidon. Issachar is, is a strong ass couching down between two bodies, and he saw that rest, that rest was good, and the land that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute. Praise the living Jesus. God's will is prosperity. It is God's intention to bring his people, his children, into kingdom prosperity. Even in the last days, God is said to honor his children with kingdom prosperity and influence in the last days. In this season and in this time, the Zebulon anointing is the anointing of wealth transfer. It is the anointing for supernatural ideas and influence to bring about immense prosperity. And God's will is prosperity. God wants to bring his children into strange dimensions of honor. In these last days, I said in the first week, I said, wherever glory is, honor abides. And Psalms chapter 8, 4 and 5, it says, he has made us a little lower than the angels. So what is man that thou art mindful of him? And it's sort of man that thou visited him. It says, for thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. And as Found him with glory and honor. 
He has crowned him with glory and honor. That is God's intention for all his children. Even in these last days, wherever glory is, honor definitely abides. When the three wise men beheld the star, the glory of Jesus, they located the star and they came to pay homage. They, 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 they came to honor Jesus. Wherever glory is, honor abides. So it is God's intention to bring his children into honor. And prosperity is one of the vehicles. Influence is one of the vehicles through which God brings his people into honor. Praise the living Jesus. The Zebulon anointing, the blessings of, of Zebulon. Let me return back to my notes. I said, kingdom prosperity is one of the ways through which God honors his, his, his people. You can come into honor through wealth, through kingdom wealth. It is the will of God. This is the will of God for everyone. This is the will of God for everyone. In the book of Third, third John, as one chapter from verse two, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. So, God's will is prosperity, God's will is influence. Praise the living Jesus. The Zebulon anointing, we are going to be ex ex exploring that short, shortly. So through Genesis chapter 48 to 49, we see, we see Jacob blessing his, his children and telling tell, tell them of those things that would befall them in the, in the last days. Moses like, like, likewise, in fact, did the same in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33, particularly 18 and, and 19 in the context that we are looking at. So what were they doing? They were simply impacting on them the anointing to become that which they pronounced up, upon them. Praise the living Jesus. So into this body, we are going to be looking at the Zebulon anointing and how it can bring about influence, affluence, and kingdom prosperity. Let's do this. Return back to our anchor scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 33, from verse, eight, from verse 18. And of Zebulon, he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, in thy going out. Notice that Zebulon was mentioned twice here. Yeah. Verse 18 it says, And of Zebulon, he said, Whereas they are, they're talking about Zebulon and Issachar here. But Zebulon was mentioned twice. And of Zebulon, he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, in thy going out, and Issachar in thy tent. This speaks about the double portion anointing. It indicates a double portion anointing as a double portion blessing. Also, we we'll also briefly into this, this, this study. We look at the relationship between Zebulon and Issachar. Let's go to verse 19. It says, They shall call the people unto the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. Emphasis on they shall call the people. They shall call the people. Last week I spoke about the compelling power of the Holy Ghost. Diana Castle, the power of influence, the power to compel. Says they shall call. They shall call. At least they shall instruct the people. They shall inform the people. They shall invite the people. They shall persuade the people. They shall stir up the people. It says they shall call the people. Onto the mountain, the Zebulon 
anointing is the anointing of influence. It takes, it takes influence to compel. When the anointing comes upon you, 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 be, you become a signet of influence. It says, they shall call the people. They shall call. That's the ability to compel. Um, it takes, this, this, this anointing is the anointing of influence. They shall call the people. That is the compelling power of the Holy Ghost. This is the anointing of influence. People will always beckon onto a man of influence. When his anointing is upon your life, it makes you a person of influence. He wants to look, 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 look at this in the context of the scripture. It says, they shall call the people onto the mountain. Visualize a, a mountain literally. And you shall call the people onto the mountain. The compelling grace, the compelling, the ability to compel. This speaks volume on, se on several things. I said people will always become onto a man of influence. It takes honor to eat onto people when be, when become upon. They shall call the people. This is the anointing of honor. They shall call the people onto the mountain. The Zebulon anointing. The anointing of influence. Influence commands honor. Influence commands honor. And when this anointing comes upon you, it will be evident upon your life with tangible proof to show for it. They shall call the people onto the mountain. As when you call, they will answer. This anointing bestows honor upon you. They shall call the people. That is when you pitch, it, 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 it takes this, this is the yeah, yeah, him anointing. That is when you pitch an idea, people will listen. They shall call the people onto the mountain. When you market a product, they shall call the people. When you pitch an idea, people will definitely. The blessings of Zebulon, the Zebulon anointing. When you market a product, people will bear on you. They shall call to the Zebulon anointing is the anointing to command influence. The Zebulon anointing is the anointing to command influence. It gives you a voice. It's the anointing of honor. They shall call the people. Praise the Lord. Is there an anointing? Attract people. Men and women alike. When this anointing is smeared on you, attract the other people on you. The Zebulon and London. People don't become interested. People, people will listen to everything you have to say. The Zebulon and London compel, compel. Praise the living Jesus. I think my, my, my speaker was a bit bad. It's, it's been adjusted now. The Zebulon anointing compels people. It attracts people. It makes you irresistible. It makes you irresistible. When this anointing is upon you, it makes you irresistible. It attracts. It makes people to want to listen to whatever it is you have to say. 
Praise the living Jesus. I'm waiting for supernatural favor. They shall call the people onto the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. It says, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas. They shall suck of the abundance of the sea. This is divine prosperity. They shall suck of the abundance of the sea. This is the wealth transfer anointing. They shall suck of the abundance of the sea. The blessing of Zebulon is the, is the blessing of abundance. The anointing of Zebulon is the anointing of abundance. When I started, I said, God is said to bring his people into untold dimensions of wealth and influence in the last days. And that is one of the vehicles through which he brings his people into honor. Since they shall suck of the abundance of the sea, as is, they shall draw of the abundance of the, of the sea. So when his anointing is upon you, this anointing is the anointing of abundance. God is bringing his people into a wealthy place, into untold dimension of kingdom prosperity. It says, but they shall suck. It says, they shall draw of the abundance of the sea. There is a vast majority of abundance. All you need to do is draw. When his anointing is upon you, it, it empowers you to draw. Praise the living Jesus. This, and all the treasures hid in the sand. The treasures hid in the sand. Oh my God. This is the anointing for supernatural ideas, hidden ideas. Treasures hid in the sun. This, this is the anointing for, 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 for deep revelations and deep insights. And of treasures hid in the sand. Opportunities hid in the sand. It's anointing. And it's to upon you. This is will open up your eyes and open your, up, your, up your heart to see opportunities, ideas that will make you a global phenomenon. God will is prosperity, the Zebulon anointing. This anointing gives us a vision and insights and deep insights. Embedded in this anointing is the where, is the when, is the what, is the how, is Zebulon anointing. The anointing for supernatural prosperity. Irrespective of your stance, regardless of your location, regardless of your disposition, when this anointing is upon you, it it is is anointing is revelatory. When something is upon you, you will know what to do. You will know you 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 cannot be limited. When something is upon you, you will know what to to do, where to where, where to start it. You will know the how to go about it. You will know you know the when. This anointing. And bearing is in this anointing is the is the what is the know-how is the where without to go about it, who to meet. They shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of treasures hidden in the sand, regardless of if of the inflation in prices. Regardless of the economic down, down, downturn, regardless of how dry a particular area is, or a particular environment is, or, 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 or a particular niche in a particular kind of business is, there are hidden treasures. Hidden treasures. All you need to do is to suck. All you need to do is to draw. This anointing opens you up 
to these hidden things, God is said to bring his people into strange dimensions of influence and kingdom prosperity. It is the will of God. It is the will of God. It is the will of God. Praise the living Jesus. They shall suck of the abundance of the sea and of treasures hid in the sand. Let me return back to my notes. I said, said it takes revelation to access hidden things. It takes revelation to access hidden treasures. When his anointing comes upon you, when others see impossibilities, you begin to see possibilities. When others see a blockade, you, you begin to see a roadway. When others see a desert, you begin to see an oasis, a, a, a river in a desert. Praise the living Jesus. The Zebulon anointing. The Zebulon anointing. When it's upon you, it will wrought mighty things in righteousness through, through you. The Zebulon anointing. The anointing for kingdom prosperity. Wealth as a voice. And people of God, don't be deceived. In these last days, God wants to bring his people into an untold dimension of wealth. It is not being carnal. It is not being carnal. It is the will of God. Even the, 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 the work of the kingdom re, 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 requires, re, re, requires man. Power, the work of your, of your kingdom requires, king, requires kingdom financiers, kingdom giants, the Zebulon anointing. God is taking the church to a place of honor that people will run to the church for help. People will run to the church for help. That the church will bail out economies. The church will bail out a dying economies. That is the destiny of the last day church, among so many other things. God is bringing the church into, into, into untold dimension of honor and is raising kingdom financiers, kingdom giants, kingdom financiers. Is bringing his people into a wealthy place. There is a place called the wealthy place. Praise the living Jesus. Since they shall suck of the abundance of the abundance of the sea. That means there are still treasures. There are treasures hidden. And of treasures hid in the sand. I wrote my book, I said, in the vast abundance, there is a place for you and I. There is a place you must be. There is a circle of influence you must belong in. Now, that's where purpose comes in. I said, I said in, in, in the first teaching, I said, inside your purpose lies your honor. Inside your calling, lies your color. You must walk in purpose. You must know where God has positioned you to be. You must know what God has called you to do. Even, even if you are starting a, even if God wants to, even when God wants to bring you to prosperity, there is something God has created you to do. There's a purpose God has, God, there's a problem God has created to solve. 
even if you are called to do business, there's a particular need God has carved out for you. For, 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 for you. you have your circle of influence. When this anointing comes up upon you, it opens you up. It, 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 it guides you. The seven anointing carries a revelatory power. Says, and of treasures hid in the sand, and of treasures hid in the sand, and of treasures hid in the sand. I wrote in my, my book, I said, identify where God has placed you, discover your purpose, discover your identity. Discover what God will have you do. Discover what God, where God will have you stay. Keep at it. Stay on course. And watch the Zebra anointing operate in your life in full force. Only then can you draw. Only then can you soak. Let's go to Genesis chapter 14, 49 again. Genesis 49, from verse 13. It says, Zebulon shall dwell at the haven of the sea. It says, he shall dwell at the haven of the sea. That means he was a sea merchant. He was a sea merchant. He, he was a merchant. So he shall dwell by the heaven of the sea. That's, that's what was his own business. You have to discover what God will have you do. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. God's will is prosperity. God's will is, is prosperity. Honor. God wants to bring his people into strange dimensions of honor. And kingdom prosperity is one of the major ways, one of the major vehicles through which God brings his people into honor. Praise the living Jesus. The Zebulon anointing. The Zebulon anointing. I read this scripture again and we'll spend some time to pray. It says, they shall call the people onto the mountain as influence. It says, there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. It says, for they shall suck of the abundance of the sea and of treasures heat in the sun. We are going to pray now. We're going to ask the Lord to open our eyes. And God's will is prosperity. But we have to address the question of purpose first. We're going to say, Father, open down my eyes, O Lord. Show me that which you have me do. Open down my eyes, O oh God, and instruct me. Open down my eyes, O oh God, and show me your will and plans for my life. Pray in the name of, the name of Jesus Christ. Zuke toka vadi asukata libarakatai. Aliko pro teteto zuzia katali kabash. Rege de de gedo so teke to radika balakatai. Evideli katwa zevo doli kapra teketozi ketelia. Anjike toko porakatai. Open down my eyes, O God. In the name of Jesus.
ikala barata esuzi eru katelo katai ma vile ku prededia suzeliata for in jesus mighty name we are still praying we are going to ask for a fresh baptism of the zebulon anointing anointing for supernatural ideas anointing for supernatural ideas, ideas that will open me up to eating to treasures that are eating pray in the name of jesus father lord give me a fresh baptism of the zebulon anointing tonight in the name of jesus christ we ask that you baptize each and every one of us with the zebulon anointing anointing for influence for kingdom prosperity for supernatural ideas for supernatural ideas for supernatural ideas in the name of jesus that you will you raise mighty men and women kingdom financiers from amongst us in the name of jesus you raise people you, you raise change makers solution providers in the name of jesus you will release upon us supernatural ideas to affect our world globally on on a global scale in the name of jesus with transgenerational impact in the name of jesus christ veketoko pradia katai give us a fresh baptism of this anointing in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we 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 enter we enter the zebulon anointing we we enter the zebulon anointing in the name of jesus in the name of jesus for in jesus mighty name we are still praying finally we are going to ask I want to pray the prayer one, one, one more time. Since that which you, that which you will have me do, let's repeat that prayer, that prayer again. That which you will have me do, Lord, open my eyes to see that which you will have you have me do, and bless the works of my hands. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for story of tonight thank god for how you've helped us from the beginning of this month thank god for the concluding path blessed be your name in the mighty name of jesus christ we ask oh god that you impact upon each and every one of us the zebulon anointing in the name of jesus the anointing for honor the anointing for influence the anointing for kingdom prosperity in the name of Jesus. You will open us up. You open our eyes to see hidden treasures, treasures hidden, to see problems we have been created to solve. In the name of Jesus, we enter into the wealthy place. We enter into, into the wealthy place. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We come with the rest of, 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 of our story. As so it con con continues for the month of, Ju of Ju July, we ask, oh God, that let your grace be multiplied upon the next speaker. Blessed be your holy name, for we pray by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to go to Evangelist Samuel Gabriel. All right, so um, I don't think it's online currently. Can we on, on, on mute our mics as we share the grace in fellowship? So that session was supposed to be for 40 minutes. That was why I had to um, rush the teaching tonight. Can we on mute our mics as, as we share the grace? Grace in fellowship, one, two, go. Grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His fresh of the Holy Spirit, 